My name is Maud Panaman Mati. I'm taking you for business management form one. Last week, we did decision making. And we'll just go over quickly and start today's work. Last week, we learned about the definition of decision making. The definition of decision making. And we said it is making or making a choice from two or more alternative courses. Then we talked about steps in decision making process. We also said that you can't just go make a decision at a go. There are things you have to take them into consideration. You have to identify the problem, assess the problem, gather information, identify the range of possible solutions, assess the consequences, make a choice, monitor and, and all that. And we also discuss about the importance of decision making. We mentioned it helps management to um, allocate resources to achieve set targets. It also enhances discipline and coordination among workers. It also helps to negotiate labor on condition of service. It helps also management to allocate resources. Today, we will continue with our learning objectives, still on decision making. We will look at five learning objectives. One, we are going to differentiate between programmed and non-programmed decision making. Two, we will identify the levels of decision making in management, on management level. Three, parties involved in decision making. Four factors affecting decision making, and five styles in decision making. Quickly, let's talk about programmed and non-programmed decision. We're talking about programmed. We're talking about a decision that is routine. It goes on. It's a normal thing. It repeats itself, and it is structured. So with program decision it is routine repetitive and structured let's take a typical example of um, a programmed um, decision Ghana GES we have acad academic year it starts on J uh, September and ends on July programmed it repeats itself it's structured nothing changes it farmers day it's on first Friday of December, it's programmed. It repeats itself every first Friday of December in every year. We have Farmers Day. Um, Ghana, we, we 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 vote or go on election every four years. It repeats itself every four years. Seven December we vote. Seven January the new government takes over. So we are saying that a, a programmed decision is the one that's. It's routine, it repeats itself and it is structured. It's, it, does, that, it just does not happen haphazardly. It goes like that. And we have several of them. You look at Valentine's Day. Every 14th December, it's a, sorry, 14th February, it's a Valentine's Day and it is observed as such. Now, when we talk about non in fact, let it, let it even go down with, to our school. Every Monday, every Wednesday, every Friday, for ya. It has happened since time immemorial. We have mass every morning, repeated, programmed. So whenever you come to Pokwa School after your orientation, you realize that every my everyday per your house, you go for mass. Sunday, church service is compulsory. Mm -hmm. We know that for your start at 6.45, it's programmed. So you can't just come and say, you are at 17, where's the first lesson supposed to start? You are not coming for four years. No. You, know. you know when we go for first break and when we go for breakfast. You know when we close. They are structured. They repeat itself. They are routine. You know the food that you even eat at the dining hall. 
Monday, you know your menu in the morning, breakfast, you know what to eat in the afternoon, you know what to eat in the evening, throughout the week. So they, are, they, they, they are programmed decision. The school, the board decided, let's give them this and all that. We, you even know that Friday, we don't wear our cream shirts, we wear our school prints on Fridays, programmed. It's structured, it, is, it repeats itself, it is a routine. So we can go on and on and on and on. They will talk about non-programmed decision. That one, it tells you that it is one off decision. Something happens and quickly, a decision ought to be made to solve the situation. And when the situation is solved, then we ease that, um, we let it go for that decision that we make. A typical example is now that the COVID-19 is here, everybody is wearing no mask. I'm sure when the COVID is all gone, we'll not wear our nose mask as it is mandated for us to wear. So we talk about non-programmed. It is take it is a decision taken once, and when the program the problem is solved, it's gone. Let's take a typical example. When we have our mock, normally we will allow the form threes to go for early breakfast. Then they come and write their paper. Even it continues until. They, are, they finish writing the book. After that, they join the normal school time table. In the same day, when we are going for inter-school, we normally take early breakfast. After inter-school, we revert to our old time table. It tells you that it is not structured. Uh, sorry, it, it may be structured, but it is not permanent. It is not a routine. It comes to solve a problem, and when the problem is off, that ends it. Then we we'll talk about the, we want to identify the levels of management. We did the three levels of management: the strategic, the, the tactical, and the operational. You remember we did that one. And at every point or at every level, decision takes place. When we talk about the strategic decision making. It is done by the board of directors, that's the BOD, the shareholders, the managing directors, the functional heads. And these people make policies, they formulate policies, and their decisions are long term. Normally, we talk about investments, how much money to inject into the business and all that. It is made by the topmost personnel there. Then we come to the static, statical decision. These are made by the model management. That's the production, the personnel, marketing managers. Then we have the operational decision. They are made by the supervisors. They come down to that level. And it's a short term. It's a short term. Then we talk about the organizational decision. That one is taking problem identified within the business organization. And the decision is made to solve that problem within that organization. Then we have about, we talk about personal decision. This is made by the worker or the individual in that um, organization. With a personal decision, you cannot delegate it. Nobody can do it apart from the person or the individual or the worker taking that particular decision. As I put to go on your annual leave, nobody can go on your annual leave for you. You have to go on your annual leave. So we have the decision making by management. Talk about the strategic management, that's the topmost. The tactical management as a model management level, the production, the personnel, the marketing managers, the operational managers, these are the supervisors, and they are, they are, they are short term. Talk about organizational decision. That is when a decision is taken to solve a problem within the organization. Then the personal decision that is made by the worker or the individual in that context. Let's talk about um, parties also involved in decision making. About parties involved. We will try to identify about five parties. Talk about the the board of directors, 
already made that they are the uh, shareholders, they are the managing directors, they are the functional heads. Again, they formulate policies and they make strategic decisions. Um, let's talk about um, some decisions that they make with the top um, executive or the top management. They normally talk about the investment and how much capital to inject into the organization to meet competition in the, in the economy. Then we talk about um, specialists and outside consultants. If you listen to the president, you, you, you always hear him when he's come to address the, the nation. He has a team of people he works with. It's not, a, it's, not a, it's not. It's not. It's not a decision that he has taken alone. He consults a wide range of people, doctors, economists, and all those who matter. We have specialists in every area, so when the need arises, we have to consult those people. It could be that the person is within his cabinet. If the person is not found in his cabinet, you have to go outside the box and look for consultants who will give him technical ideas to solve the COVID-19 pandemic. So yes, if it is the means to, to even hire specialists like internal auditors, chartered accountants, chartered marketers, and the rest, to give technical ideas to solve a particular problem identified, and therefore a decision is made of that. They will talk about committees. Committees, we're talking about committees, we're talking about representatives from individual or from the various departments. And they represent those people in that department. And they make specific or general decision for whatever problem that has arisen. And again, they bring to bear their technical know-how can't bring all at on board. You need to be represented. And they sometimes also sort um, they seek um, ideas from the people they are representing and come on board, bring the ideas on board to solve a particular problem. Then we talk about supervisors. They are the operational decisions. Whatever it is decided, it is the operation or the operational supervisors that make them implement all the decisions made. Now you say we should wash our hands. So people consider those who have to provide the chemical uh, buckets, the sanitizers, and all that. They bring them for us to use. So the supervisors make sure that all that has been decided and are, are being implemented. Then we have the workers' decision. That one, it is the individual decision of the of the of the worker. You can be tasked to do a particular work. So, if you are delegated or assigned to do the work, you are given the opportunity to bring your knowledge to bear. So these are the people or the parties that are in decision making. Then we talk about. Factors affecting decision making. We're talking about the importance of the decision. That's why when we are, you know, making two or three or choosing from two or three, you have to identify the problem like you did in the previous lesson. Is it important for this? decision to be made to solve this then just like when the uh, pandemic um, came the, uh, when we had the, the virus spreading the president said that we should all schools should close down was it necessary yes because at that time things were getting out of hands when he locked down ashanti and greater Akar region was it necessary yes because these were the two regions the virus was very high. 
the cases were very high. So at every point in time, whatever decision that you make, you have to make sure that it commensurates the idea or to solve the problem for which it will be needed. Now we're talking about the, the structure of the organization. We're talking about bureaucracy. You can't just get up and make a decision. If you take our, school, our classroom level, whatever you want, you tell your class prefects. Then the class prefect will also tell the form teacher. The form teacher will tell the academics. Then academic will take it to headmaster. Headmaster will um, discuss it with the board. And on, on, on it goes. So decisions are taken you know, on levels. At times it can come from top to down or from down to top. All are most necessary. Then we'll talk about the personality of the, of the decision maker. Who is making that decision? Has he got the power? Who is he? In our school, nobody can just come make a decision and tell the whole school. It has to come from whoever it ought to come from. Maybe the headmaster or the academics or the administration. So whoever gives the decision before it is implemented, then we know that the person has the capacity to tell us to do this. Either than that. So, um, a classroom teacher cannot just go to the foyer and tell you today, today is May 10. No. If it's May 10, whoever has to announce, either the academic or the headmaster, then you know that, yes, somebody is telling you. The, the decision carries weight. Either than that, you can't just say, oh, so so and so said today is May 10. No. Whoever gives announcement or decision taking must be the person in that capacity to give. Now talk about the state of mind of the decision maker. At times we, we, we react per our mood. Somebody will tell you when you are happy you don't make a promise and when you are, when you are angry too you don't, uh, make, you don't take a decision. So at every point in time when you are taking a decision, you must make sure that your, your, your state of mind is really clear and all that you are taking will go a long way to solve that particular problem. You can't just be angry and say, I've closed the school down. You can't just be happy and say that, to, to, I mean, so all that we are saying that whenever you are making a, a, a decision, the state of mind also counts. The state of mind also counts. So um, factors affecting decision making. We can talk about the importance of the decision, the structure, the personality, the state of mind of the decision maker. Now we're talking about the styles, the styles of decision making. We have the autocratic, the consultative style, and the group style. In the group style. In the autocratic, the decision maker does not consult anybody. We just made a decision and instruct the subordinates to implement them. Then in the consultative style, the decision maker will consult a lot of people, but the final decision is made by him. Then we have the group style. The group style the decision maker will consult a lot of people and what the people say, the majority will count the vote on that. So what the people say is the decision that you announce to all who are supposed to benefit from the decision that is made. So that is that. What's that? So these are our learn objectives. Then we talked about the program decision, we said it's repetitive, it's structured, and it's routine. And we gave example of them. Academic, uh, academic calendar is a routine. It repeats itself in the structure from September to, sorry, yes, from September, first of September to July. We have non-programmed. No one is one of 
just like when we had the pandemic, the decision was schools should stay at home, market should be closed, lockdown. When the problem is solved, that decision is taken off and face uh, reverse to their normalcy. Then we gave an example. We're talking about decision making by management. We have the strategic decision which is made by the BOD, that's the board of directors, shareholders, and MD. We have tactical decision, it is made by middlemen, that's the production, the personnel managers. We have the operational decision, it's made by supervisors, and they are short term. The organizational decision, that one is within the business organization. Whatever the problem, is in the business organization, decision is taken to solve that particular problem in that business organization. Then you have personal decision. It is made solely by the worker or the individual and it cannot be delegated. If he's on sick leave, he cannot tell, ask somebody to go on sick leave for him or her. If you want to go on annual leave, they have to take that decision and go on annual leave. Then you have parties in decision making. We have the board of directors, they are the shareholders, the MDs, and that's the topmost. They formulate policies and make strategic decisions on investments, on capital injections into the business. They make the utmost decision. And it is long term, from five years plus, it is long term, it's solely made by board of directors, and that's the strategic decision making body. Then we have the specialist or the outside consultants. They can be found within the organization, like the internal auditors, the chartered accountant, the chartered marketers, and what have you. They give technical ideas and upon their views, they are taking technical decisions. Technical decisions. That's just like what the president is doing on COVID. He consults doctors, he consults educationists, he consults all those who matter to, to make a final decision before he comes out to on air to make those pronouncements. They have committee. They are representative from different departments to solve general or specific problems in the organization. In a way, they represent those from the, the department they are coming from. So it could also be that before they even come for any meeting, they consult, they, they seek views of the people in the same department with, and they, they, they bring their, their ideas to bear. Then we have the supervisors, they are the operational, they make the operational decision. They actually put decision made into practice. Then we have workers decision. They are the individual workers in the organization. They are tasked to do specific work and they make their own specific decision on how to go about the work given. There are factors affecting decision making. We're talking about the importance of the decision. When COVID came, schools were closed. That was it important then? Yes, because the virus was affecting so many people and we didn't even know the nature it moves. I mean, it was behaving. It was very funny. So we needed to shut all public places, the markets, supermarkets, bars, and all that to study the way the virus behaves, then we can meet it as such. So yes, if, whatever decision you make must come straight the problem, to solve a particular problem. Now we're talking about the structure of the organization, that's the bureaucracy. Decisions are taken, it can be from up to down or down to up, but whatever it is, it should come from a level Classroom teacher cannot declare a holiday. If there's any holiday to be declared, the headmaster will have to do, it could be midterm, it could be public holiday, it could whatever it is. Not everybody can get up and just make any pronouncement. It, it has to go, if you in, 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 take your, your class, for instance, if you have any problem concerning your studies, you have to tell your class prefects, your class prefect will tell your form master. Your form master will inform the academics. Academics will inform headmaster. Headmaster will inform board of directors. And on, on, on it. Depending on the level, the, the decision ought to be taken. 
If it's above the your class teacher, you take it to the academics. If it's above academics, you take it to the headmaster. If it's above the headmaster, it will take it to she will take it to the board of directors, and on, on, on it goes. They're talking about personality of the decision maker. Who is making that decision? Class teacher cannot come and declare mate. Class teacher cannot come and declare vacation. Whoever says that also on the diabo, because he is not in that capacity to de to take that decision. But when the headmaster talks, it carries weight. So it depends on who is talking, who is making the decision. They have the states of mind of the decision maker. When you are very happy, you don't make promises, and when you are very angry, too, you don't know, you don't make um, um, you don't make uh, decisions. Else, your mood will let you make a wrong decision. So at any point in time, you should make sure that you are in a right state of mind to take a particular decision to solve a particular problem. Then we'll talk about types of with the styles, talking about autocratic style, consultative styles, and group styles. With the auto practice style, the decision maker does not consult anybody. He takes a decision on his own and instructs the subordinates to comply. With a competitive style, the decision maker consults people, group of people, representatives, individuals, but he makes the sole decision upon all the views that he has heard. He sits down and makes the sole decision. But with a group style, he consults a lot of people and the majority will carry the vote. Whatever the people say is what the decision will be. I hope you get, you get the difference, especially with the consultative and the group. The consultative, he sees a lot of um, views, but he makes the sole decision from the lot that he has heard. But with the group style, he consults a lot of people, and what the group says is a decision he takes. So these are the three styles in decision making. Automatic style, quantitative style, and new style. So that you come to the end of the lesson. Next week we continue. I want to give you an assignment. So your assignment is what is decision making? What is decision making? What is programmed decision? And non program decision. And you list factors affecting decision making. Factors affecting decision making. We we'll discuss it in our next lesson. Thank you. Stay home and stay safe.